How long should we wait? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Okay. <laughs> I am sad. The last one. Let's do it. Hi, dolls. Welcome back. And if you are new, hello. My name is Jesse, and today we are going to react to season two, part two, episode fifteen of Pen Fifteen home. I have been super, super emotional this entire second part of the second season. We've had some hysterical moments, but some really, really heavy, heavy issues. And I'm excited to see what they do with the, f the finale and how they present these characters in their last moments. Because again, it's so, it's so fun to watch this show because it's so funny, but they touch on such serious issues. They really pull at your heartstrings. They do a good job of drawing different emotions out of you into the story. It's not just a, stu a silly, stupid TV show that you can laugh at. It's things that you can actually relate to and learn from. So I'm excited. Let's just jump in. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm probably going to cry. Let's find out. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like or dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling. That'll also be notified when I upload videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is five dollars a month. That's only a dollar twenty-five a week. It has all of my edited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube. In addition, more. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Star underscore Chef underscore Productions. But without further ado, this is season two, part two. Episode 15 of Pen 15 Home. Got tissues ready if needed. Which it probably will. So are they taking them home? This doesn't look familiar to me. We've never really seen the outside of their homes though, have we? Maybe this is Derek's house. Oh, it, is your mom not home? Nah, she's never home. You guys wanna go in first? I don't trust this guy. We don't get our intro one last time. I really would have liked to hear the intro one last time. So what should we do? Okay. Here. Oh my god. You must be a Costco oh, family. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Ew. I'm sorry, it's not oh good. Oh Did you cut out the drumming? We, we're trying to. Hit this. It's throwing me off. I think that your drumming sounds good. Uh, Her dad's a professional drummer, so. Oh, stop. <laughs> sounds like Bop It. Really bad. Mm. Sorry. See, I knew he was a little dip. You wanna go to my room? No. Stay with Anna. Okay. I don't like this kid. I don't trust him. He's an asshole. a really interesting shop. Can we just do over it? Did you bring your meds? No, they don't really work for me. Is that okay? I guess. He's a piece of shit. He's using her for her meds. BJ, right? You've had your first kiss before. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to be her first kiss. Cool. My first kiss sucked. Well, it was good and then Alrighty. it ended up sucking. I'll explain later. <laughs> Does she not know what a BJ is? Is <laughs> she leaned back? And now since I paused, my, my first kiss sucked. My first kiss, I think it was eighth grade. 13? 12 or 13? We were at the mall. It was with a boy that I actually had a crush on. I really, really liked him. And him and his two friends were at the mall. And me and my friend were at the mall. We saw them. We ended up hanging out. And long story short, she dared him... And I had a kiss. I think it was 10 seconds and I had never kissed anyone before and I didn't know what to do. So I literally just like, <laughs> just like sat there like that. I like didn't even move my mouth because I didn't know I was really supposed to, I guess. I was all giddy because I, I liked him. I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And like, ew, like, even though it was Dare, like I still got to kiss him. That was cool. And then I found out he had a girlfriend. Yeah. Him, not her. Sure. <laughs> Come on. You only had Derek's back, and it's like, who's back? Do you have? I love you. Why well, I don't have to. Ugh. Whoa. What's wrong with your balls? What do you mean? It's like it has its own carrying case. Yeah. Pretty much. I guess. Ugh, he's so gross. I hope she bites it by accident. 
Hey, to each their own. Thanks. Spit, spit, spit it. Spit it on him. He's an ass. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh my god, this is so weird. This is this is the last episode. Wait, wait, wait. Who's Maya? Who? I didn't do. I just. Oh, so cool. I know. Probably I'm not gonna yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. Can we just like go home? Oh yeah. Yeah, we can go home. Okay. Steve, can you drive Shh. us home? Let's oh. go, Shuji. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I can't read her, and it's making me uncomfortable, but I think that's the point. <laughs> I know this show crosses boundaries and tends to purposely make you feel uncomfortable, the OG John episode. That ended up being one of my favorite episodes, though, because it's just so hysterical. When you go back and watch it, it's like, it's meant to bring you out of your comfort zone. But this just makes me sad. I know that everyone's first experience, or most people, I feel, first experiences would be uncomfortable and awkward like that. At least a few of mine were. Her crying really... It breaks my heart. I didn't see the show going in this direction. I thought it would be a little more goofy than this series. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Shuji does my brother. I thought he was gonna drive a car for some reason. I don't wanna know what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. You guys take the bike, okay? I love you. Love you too. Peace. I love that they called him. As much as they, like, argue and make fun of each other and stuff, there's, they still have such a good relationship. He's a good brother. I was just talking to your dad about you going over to his this weekend. And it's home. A golden retriever killed Daddy. I kind of put it on the dog's <laughs> head. Then that's my fault. Maybe don't do that again. No. Right, you gotta learn from it. Learn from your but experience. The dog was wrong kid. too, right? I love Steve. Really? Um. Put her on speakerphone. He just doesn't take me seriously. But I also want to marry him. <laughs> it's not funny. Just fix it. No, just sweet. fix it. We can't fix everything. If you know only. That. But we can listen, okay? This is cute. Oh, hey, I got the plastic off the oven. That was a cool shot too, how it looked like they were sitting on the couch together. Maya's breaking my heart. It's interesting because in the first season, we had a lot of really nice moments with Maya and her mother and her parents. Anna was going through a lot of shit, and now it seems like it's the roles are reversed. Like Anna is now getting a lot of support and having more nice moments with her parents. And Maya's going through a lot. Again, I did not see it going this sad though. Like I... I think it's more important to show that she did do it instead of running away though because I think it's very common for people to make choices that they look back on and think, wow, I shouldn't have made that choice, but uh, that's how we learn. You know, that's how we figure things out. We have to make bad decisions. We have to make mistakes in order to understand what we want and how to get there. I'm not going to say that I haven't done things that... I regret or I wish I did differently. But again, that's how I learned. It's very important to show moments like this so that hopefully people or younger kids watching, hopefully no younger kids are watching this, but it's important to show kid, younger kids things like this to help them understand that like you don't have to do, like she didn't have to go in that room. The whole scene where it's like very dark and he's looking, she's looking down the hallway at him, it's like a mile long it looks like and then it's just like it's a few feet away. I feel like she didn't want to do that. While he didn't necessarily force her, he did take his her hand and put it on him and I think he shouldn't have done that. And I think that's what insinuated everything made her feel like she had to go through with it in order to be cool and have him like her. He was clearly using her for the drugs too cuz she says is that okay? I didn't bring him is that okay? And he goes, oh, "I guess." I hope Shuji like kicks his ass or something. 21 minutes of us talking on the phone. I feel like that's our longest yet, babe. Yeah. Honestly, I like you better that way. With a snuggle? I'm gonna have to get my braces back on. You got a on here. Anna, you just said put the radio on. Put it on, on 106.7. Santana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm breaking up with you. Cause that's what I'm doing right now. What? He's such a f***ing idiot. First true heartbreak. What's wrong with you? They want to know. Loser. 
Look and at me. Uh, and <laughs> Yeah, you're. She's much better at it than me. I'm so cute. So, this guy is your boyfriend's best friend. You are what you eat. Steve is eating Derek's, so to speak. So you're saying they're both. I mean, kinda. Okay, genius. Kinda. Thank you so much. Do you want to like egg this house after school? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. I love that they showed them yeah. all. You shouldn't respect his music. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's that just a coincidence that she me. blew him and then out. he broke up with her. It was dishonorable what he did, but it'd be dishonorable for a best friend to... Okay, so you're not coming? I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations, and you're not in this world to live up to no, mine. Not everything is a saying. Breaking up with him? Ooh, she's breaking up with him. Good. He's an a too. You shouldn't be friends with people. You've made your choice. I respect it. Big gulp. Let's go egg this bitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She is such a nice person, Anna. And he, as much as he does clearly like her, he's a jerk too. He doesn't always treat her the best way. And yeah, I get why you wouldn't want to go egg his best friend's house, but he also shouldn't be friends with that kind of a person. It's like what Gabe was saying. Why do you want to surround yourself with people like that? You are what you eat. He's so nasty, rude, and he's using Maya and he's, he's just a terrible person. And that's good. That's your best friend. That's your best friend. That's the best you can find? Okay. Oh, squid. Stinky. Oh, why? Wait, wait. They're just standing in the middle of the cul-de-sac in, like, broad daylight. Hit him in the face. Yeah. Everyone scatter. Everyone scatter. Are Anna and Shushi gonna have a moment? I've been waiting for this the whole series. Oh, so remember in the first season, she oh, said that Shushi was cute? Oh, you! They're so Bitch. cute. How long should we wait? I don't know. How long should we wait? I don't know, that's why I asked you. <laughs> you deserve way better than that scrub. Mm -hmm. Trust me. You have a little bit of grass in your hair. Sometimes Steve did that. He would take. You want to see something cool? Yeah. You have grass on your butt. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. Also, very nice. Oh flip. my god! Look at her knees. Was oh, she gonna get her first kiss? What? You know you're pretty, right? Can I see your disc, man? Loved my disc man. Whenever you hear this song, it played CDs for those who don't I know. I want you to think of this. Think it's okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> yeah! He's so cute. I love them. I love them together. Aww. They share the headphones. Win for Sam. Finally. It took. What, 25 episodes? <laughs> Poor freaking Sam. I absolutely adore him. I love him. This whole series, he's telling Maya that he likes her, telling her she's beautiful, trying to cheer her up, picking on her and doing the silly boy thing, but it's like, he, the whole time he's been there supporting her. It was breaking my heart that she kept pushing him away, not giving him any at the time of day, but I love that he let me try something and he puts the headphones on and how sweet it is and important it is. And again, the parallels of how they showed what Derek did with taking her hand and putting it on him and all this creepy shit. and then sam just is it okay like if i kiss you is that okay asking consent like he's just so sweet and so kind-hearted he's such a good person and it's important to take note of that of those different things what this guy did compared to this guy what derek did compared to sam you know i i always i've said it in other reactions before the one thing that attracted me to robbie the most is the first time that we were kissing he kept asking me if it was okay he asked me like two or three times like are you okay are you comfortable and i thought that was and legitimately we were just making out like that's it and i thought that was the sweetest freaking thing. It like attracted me to him even more. I was just like, oh, like that's so hot. The fact that he just cared enough, like he could have 
just taken advantage of me if he wanted to, you know, people can do that and people do do that to people, men, women, men, women to women, men to men, it doesn't matter, people take advantage of other people, it happens, and I just think that was so sweet of him that he kept asking me that. It made me feel so secure and so comfortable and so safe. And again, the parallel between Derek doing what he did and Sam asking, is that okay? I'm going to kiss you. And just being sweet and having this sweet moment. Oh, I love Sam. I love Sam. And I'm so happy that they showed that. So cute. Look at my cheeks. are so Look fat. Look at your face. You're like, so stupid. Oh, little baby Maya. <laughs> I can't believe it's gonna be like eighth grade and then high school and then college and like. <sighs> yeah. What if after college you get a little bit depressed and I'm a little irresponsible and we don't laugh like we used to? That's we just get life. Like really cynical. Just gotta take chances and see and what really happens. just like wake up one day and we're not friends. Or. We share a dorm mm -hmm. after school. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna have a double wedding. Yeah. And then we'll probably get divorced at the same time. Because they got in the way of us. Yeah. It's gonna protect each other from everything. You promise? Because we have each other. No. Sorry, Matt. No! <laughs> Adult body doubles were used in some scenes. Yeah, you know, we figured that much. All right, there you have it. Season two, part two, episode 15 of Pen15 Home. And that was sad. That was sad. Um, it didn't, I wasn't disappointed. It just didn't feel like an ending for me. I didn't think it was bad. I liked the episode. My criticism would be that the first half of it was a little too long. Like, it's okay. So we have 39 minutes it was. We'll say 38 because it's like a minute of credits. Shuji comes to get them at 16 minutes. So literally a half of the episode, almost half, by the time they get home, it's 18 minutes. Half of the episode is them at Derek and Steve's house. And I, and I get it, you know, that's where we ended the episode the last time. We needed to deal with that. And I think, it, again, it's important that they incorporate, like, the first kiss, the first makeout session, your first sexual experience. These are all firsts. That's the whole point. So I, I think it is important that they incorporated that, but at the same time, I don't think they had to dwell on it that long. Like the whole snack thing, like, like where are your snacks? Oh, is my breath bad? Oh, they're playing music now. Oh, we're going to start kids. I don't know. It just, for me, for me, in my opinion, the whole first half of it, just that whole part, it took a little too much time. They dwelled on it a little too much. So it really set me in this a serious mindset like it, it gave me like a real serious tone and I, I felt like ugh, because I just I hate Derek I just I think he's so gross you could tell that Maya was uncomfortable and you can tell that she didn't want to do it and you can see that she was really upset afterwards so it upset me I don't think they spent enough time rectifying the situation and bringing closure to it. They didn't necessarily show Anna. Like, the one time Anna and Maya had a... I forget exactly what it was, but I think it was in the first season. And something happens, and Maya... Anna just tells Maya, like, Maya, like, you don't have to feel like this. Like, you are a strong person. You're okay. But, like, giving her this whole pep talk, and it was just so sweet. Oh, it was the... About masturbation. It was the Ochitan episode, I'm pretty sure. Where she's like, I do it. And she's like, you do? You don't have to be ashamed of it. It's okay like there was this whole thing that she like of this confidence boost that she gave Maya and I feel like it would have been important to, to for Anna to maybe tell Maya like she she did say I guess they didn't convey it the right way because she has Maya get on the phone with him and say like tell him you're not gonna do it again tell him you're not gonna give him another BJ and she's about to but then that's when he breaks up with her I think it's important that they should have had had Anna say to Maya 
if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. So tell him you're not going to do it. I think they should have explained it and maybe elaborated a little bit more. But at the same time, we do have to remember these are middle schoolers. So Anna's not always going to have the right approach. She is the adult most of the time. Yes, she's very mature for her age, but that doesn't mean she's always going to be. So I get it. It's just, um, again, this season was very heavy. And as much as I did like that, it was a bit too different from the first season. So if they were going to go in that direction, I would have liked there to be a third season to kind of bring the tone back up to the funny, goofy, and serious aspects of the show. I feel like this series, this, this season was almost too serious and there wasn't enough comedy. And again, that, that I would have been okay with that if we had more episodes, but to leave it on that note... It's like a little rough. I get the point that they're trying to make is that when you get to that age, life is serious. Like everything does feel serious. Everything does feel like it's weighing down on you. Everything does feel chaotic. You do make choices. You do experience your first heartbreak. You are blindsided by people that you care about. Like it happens. And and that is relatable. But again, I, I wish that we had more episodes to kind of explore like, okay, now they're teenagers and they're getting it. And even though they still don't get it all the way, they're starting to, you know, have more positive experiences. I don't know. I just wish it, I don't know. I wish we had more episodes. I wish that we had more episodes to explain more and the funny and show the more funny things. But I really, really like that Anna broke up with Steve. I thought he was an and she does deserve better. I love that they... <laughs> My favorite part was them playing the music while Shuji was dancing. I thought that was really cute. I've been waiting for that the whole series, so I love that they were hinting on them starting a romance. I absolutely adored Sam kissing Maya. I wouldn't talk that to death, so I won't even bother again, but love, love, loved that Sam kissed Maya, and uh, I think that's really cute that they ended it like this, with them looking at pictures and looking at the videos and and saying, you know, like having these fears. Life is, life is about choices, right? We all make choices, and those choices lead us down different paths and different journeys, and depending on what choices we make is what happens to us. And you're not always going to have it figured out. You're not always going to know what's going to happen. So I love that they're sitting there thinking, what if we're not friends anymore? What if we end up hating each other? What if our parents end up be pissing us off? Or, you know, what if this? What if, what if, what if, oh my God, panic mode. And then they say, or what if everything's great? You know, like that's, a, I forget what movie I was watching, but they, they did a similar thing where it's like, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that, or what if it all works out? That applies to relationships so many times too, where it's like, what if this guy doesn't like me as much as he says? Or what if this girl doesn't actually care about me? Or what if this, or what if that, or what if this, or what if that? Or what if they're your soulmate? Or what if they're the person that you're meant to be with and everything works out beautifully? It's scary. Life is scary, but... It's also thrilling because of that. So it's, you know, you just got to make your choices and hope that they're the best. And if they're not, learn from the ones that aren't. And I, I love that they ended it like that with, oh, this is where we met. And it's them dancing. That was so cute. I wonder if that really was them. Like, I'm fairly certain they are actually best friends in real life. And that was very pro possibly them because all of the pictures and stuff that they shown were really them. So I would think that would be too, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, but overall, I, I loved the episode. I thought it was really, really good. It just didn't feel like a series ender for me. As much as it did, because it, you know, it wrapped up everything nicely. I don't know. I just feel like it was, I think, again, if even if they took the episode and shortened the beginning with Steve and Derek and then just did everything else like they did... I think I would have liked it a little better. I think, again, that part with them was just a little too long. Um, but overall, I thought it was great. I really liked the first season. The first season is my favorite by far. The second season, the first half was hysterical. And the second half packed a punch. And as a series overall, I would highly recommend it to people. I absolutely love it. You can relate to it so much. And um, I'm sad that it's over. I really, really wish that they were to continue this, but I guess it is what it is. You know, I, I don't know why they ended it or what happened happened. I can actually look up stuff about it now, so I don't have to feel like uh, I'm going to get something spoiled. So I'm going to do that, but um, 
Yeah, it's bittersweet. I uh, I wish it continued, but for the episodes that we had, it was great. So thank you for joining me on this Pen15 journey. This was one of the first shows that I reacted to. So if you are watching this now, thank you for joining me throughout the whole series. I'm going to miss it. Bye, Maya. Bye, Anna. Everyone, throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you've not yet. We do fun things. Ring a ling ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at star underscore chef underscore productions. But that is it. I would absolutely love if they ended up either doing a third season anyway or maybe like a movie or a spin-off would be so fun because I think diving into the whole Gabe situation, him figuring out he was gay would be really interesting. I think diving into the whole Sam situation of him really liking Maya and what's going through his head would be really interesting. Like I think all the other side characters were so interesting that it would just be fun to incorporate that world in a different way, but who knows, maybe it'll happen. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye. It's over. Gotta start from the beginning now.